We made it to Bahia San Francisquito. Robbie sharpened the spear and we dove in. Francisquito was an overnight passage from Santa Rosalia. There were lots of stingrays here for some reason, including round stingrays, electric rays, and groups of mobula, as you will see in a bit. Seals checked us out as we caught some food, and the resident turtles were out and about. This is the usual site as Robbie cleans fish in our cockpit. We can be out in the barren wilds and wastelands, and still these birds will show up out of nowhere. As we motored along towards Bahia de Los Angeles, the currents were visible and they pressed on us taking two to three knots off our usual cruising speed. The day before, it was a much choppier situation, with just a little bit of southerly wind meeting the waters moving down from the north. So we were happy to travel without much of a breeze. We used our leftover fish, tomato puree, and sun-dried tomatoes to make a seafood pasta. This was just before getting a nice dorado on the fishing line. These are the eggs which we dry with rock salt for several days, and they make a product called batalga. It's usually made with mullet, but we enjoy the dorado version just as well, which is generally a very light and tasty fish to catch. On the opposite side of the channel where we were traveling, the small islands looked incredibly fantastic for exploring. With strong currents, isolation, and according to the charts, some shallow spots to lay down our anchor, we definitely wanted to go and check them out. However, with our Mexican visas expiring soon, the exploration would have to wait until later. We stopped at an anchorage called Anima Slot, and of course we enjoyed some diving here. Still with a lot of Dorado on board for dinner, Robbie didn't even bother to bring in the spear gun. We said hello to this grumpy looking stonefish fellow and met some intrusive bullseye pufferfish. There were, of course, lots of rays.
<laughs> These colorful ball-like sponges were the first we'd seen on our voyage. Robbie and I went and visited the boat that was anchored next to us, and then we were right back at it in the water. Yet another beautiful, interesting diving spot. Then we were on our way our neighbors moving on as well. There was a big pod of dolphins that were in full feeding frenzy mode. We said hello, and as quickly as they had come, they were gone again. Puerto Don Juan is a hurricane hole that most cruisers who spent their summer in this area ran to when the storm came through. The nearby town of Bahia de los Angeles is where we found several of the summertime cruisers still hanging out. The town was quiet, with the usual nice paintings around, and a clean, desalinated water source on the main road, close to the beach near Guillermo's restaurant. They even idolize it. The UV black light. It's the UV water filter thing. We were leaving Bahia de Los Angeles when we spotted several whale sharks. On the VHF radio, we could hear that several other cruisers caught sight of them as well. There must have been at least 10 to 15 sharks roaming around in the bay. We shut the engine off and drifted slowly. We took turns swimming towards the shark to say hello. Shoals of fish took cover near our boat, maybe hiding from the great big mouth of the nearby whale shark. With several slow and powerful sways of the tail, it was gone. A lot of fish. <laughs> it's a lot of fish? Yeah, it's a lot of fish. You wouldn't want to pull one in. Oh no, I wouldn't even want to hurt one of those. They're kind of around the boat. We can't really see them. The water's pretty murky. Mm -hmm. I know they're around. I can see, once in a while, I see their little fin or, or mouth kind of going go. You see it there? I could see the white of it. I think we're being blown away. 
we motor sailed towards the constellation of islands just across from Bahia de Los Angeles. Near the shoal, just outside the main bay, a large dorado was hooked on the line. We decided to make fried chips out of a large portion of this fish, which keep well and are easy to snack on. I'm going to cut them a little bit thicker because the sun is so strong here that they dry anyways. Maybe a little less crunchy. Pepper, soy sauce, a little bit of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Of course, curry powder and garlic powder. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to see our next videos. You can even click on the little bell if you want to be specially notified. You can support the making of these videos through Patreon or through sending a tip on PayPal. Thank you so much to all our current supporters.